Juneteen celebrations also continued in Virginia. In Arlington, there was a community celebration and cookout to educate people on the history and also celebrate freedom for African Americans. DC News Now's Tosin Fikile joining us now here in studio. And Tosin, you know, the gravity of today isn't lost in organizers despite the festivities. That's right, Chris. Those who spoke to DC News Now tell us that they recognize how far African Americans have come, the end of slavery, but they also say there's some ways to go. And yes, it was a celebration at Metropolitan Park in Arlington, but organizers say it allowed them to honor the past and do something about the future. Black people, we love us. <laughs> um, and we just bringing everybody together for the community. And this Arlington community celebrated Juneteenth with music and food. But the reason for today was not lost on those who helped put this event together. We wanted to pay homage. We want to talk about where we've been, the resilience, the fortitude, and the strength, where we currently are, what has brought us here to celebrate today, and make sure that we're able to inspire future generations. We want to educate and we want to inspire them to carry on the fight. We want to celebrate our freedom and our ability to actually do things. Virginia Senator Tim Kaine was also at the event celebrating Juneteenth, a relatively new federal holiday. I was in the Senate when we did this by a unanimous vote in 2021, and so that makes it even more special. We asked people if they could solve one issue surrounding black people, what would it be? Breaking the, the barrier gap between income, right? Um, that's one thing that sets us apart from others is being able to make the same amount of money financially. It would be equity for all. Organizers also told DC News Now one of the original Freedom Riders, Joan Mulholland, was at today's event. Chris.